Hi guys, it's Amy and you have found Amy Loves Crochet. Thank you so much for clicking on my video today. I sincerely appreciate your time. Today's video, I want to share with you a continuation a little bit. Um, a few videos ago, I shared with you this little sawtooth scarf that I made uh, from Tranquility Yarn by Willow. And there's the wrap from that still. Um, and I'll post that down below. Uh, but here was the scarf without, it's called the Sawtooth Edge. Or it's sawtooth, sawtooth kerchief. And it's because it's got a little sawtooth edging that I did not do on this one because of the amount of yarn that I had. So I just did it as a quick, cute little wraparound kind of guy. And so, whoops. <laughs> and so I wanted to, as I normally do, share that same pattern with a different yarn. Um, and so I used my Sugar Wheel Cotton Sparkle, which is in the Jenny's Galoshes color. And this one, these I've had for a couple of years now from a previous Hobby Lobby clearance. And I just wasn't sure what to do with it. It's got this great metallic sparkle in there. You can kind of see it there. Um, so it's really, really pretty. And I've actually made a couple of my Barbie doll dresses with it. I guess I didn't plan on sharing those, but the yarn is awesome. I love this yarn, so I just hadn't known what to make with it yet. But here's one that I made out of that, and I just used the green, if you can really see, and then I added a little applique to it to make it sort of... And um, I had been watching um, a video for a dress, and I wanted to make it a much more poofy, sort of, you know, princess kind of look so um i can't remember now exactly what the pattern was I'll, I'll link the barbie dress video down below as well but um i kind of went out on my own so i was really really happy with this dress and this dress as well because i you know had some design ideas and i changed up a pattern that i was working on and made it my own so that was really exciting so i did the same thing with this one and put the little flower thing in the center there this time i gave her an eye hook a clasp on the back of the dress here and with hers I did the same now when um, okay I'm really venturing off I'll link this video down below there's a lot of information about the dresses I just wanted to share that that's that yarn that I used but anyway oops, sorry girl so this is the whole purpose for the video is the sawtooth with the sawtooth made <laughs> So it's um, still a very light, light, airy sort of pattern. Um, there's a couple of differences between the Sugar Wheel Cotton. The Sugar Wheel Cotton is a three and the Tranquility is a four. This one's got some nylon in it, whereas this one is all cotton with the exception of the metallic sparkle. So, you know, you never know how long your color change is gonna go. So I just worked continual, as you can see, it changed color kind of right in the center of each row or whatever, not in the center, but in the middle of a row. And these are all kind of curling up, but when they lay flat, I should have probably blocked this before I showed it to you guys. But when they lay flat, there's these little sawtooth edges. Yeah, I definitely should have steamed this or blocked this or something. But what you do is you just do a single Chain, I mean, you do a chain out a bunch, and then you do a slip stitch, and then a single crochet, and then a half double crochet, and then a double crochet, and then treble, and then a double treble, so that you build your smallest stitch at the point, and then go to a large stitch, which is then matching the pattern stitch as a double treble. So I thought that was kind of cute with the little, you know, edging the way it is intended to have. Um, and in the video where I made the Tranquility Scarf, I said that I was also going to work on, the pattern comes in both um, a kid size and a mom size. Um, they actually even call it uh, Mom and Me, the sawtooth kerchief for Mom and Me. And so I said that I would make one for Mom in a more distinguished color instead of the girly colors or whatever and by the time I finished this one I wasn't about to make a third one so I apologize I'm not going to show you the mama mom version but um yeah so I think that's kind of cute you know for littles or whatever and even for the moms if you get around to making one they show they they use a different yarn this the yarn that they use is not one that I'm familiar with um 
what's it called? Glam Patron Patron's Glam Stripes. Pay Payton's Glam Stripes. Um, I'll put a picture of it in here in case any of you guys have it. But yeah, so you can see how the cute little sawtooth edge sits or is supposed to sit if you're all, you know, blocked or whatever. So kind of cute. Kind of cute. So one of the other things that I like to do is kind of combine a video. So not only is this the extra sawtooth scarf, but I wanted to make another one as well. Um, so this one is called Night Moves. And um, this is a scarf that's inspired by the movie Night Shawl. Oh, I forgot to see who it is from. I don't have that right here. I'll, I'll link the videos down below, obviously. Or not obviously, but I always do that. <laughs> um, and so it was meant to be used with a fingering weight yarn, but I wanted to go ahead and use it with my Sugar Well Cotton. So again, it is a three weight and it calls for a 4.5 millimeter hook. And I think I used, I used, I used a 5.5 millimeter hook. So I thought this was super pretty. And again, this is one that Fiber Spider does sort of a, a change to. Um, it's meant to be asymmetrical, which is really weird for me because I am such a person of symmetry. If you know me at all, I have to have symmetry. Um, so I was really, it was really fun to work on something that was asymmetrical. And so, you know, it's one of these that starts at a point here. And so it's kind of curved. And um, Fiber Spider takes it and puts it into a shawl. So he'll, he'll do out to here and then start to reduce it so you are symmetrical. So um, I'll link that below as well in case you're interested in that. But I wasn't quite sure how long this was supposed to be. I'm still kind of researching, I guess, whether I wanted to do um, how much more I wanted to do. This is one cake. I don't know if I'm going to have enough to do the next... Uh, you know, the next, so each round you end, it's four rows. If you see here, there's the yellows in four different rows, or not four different, four rows. Um, and so when you work out, you work back, you know, you work out. And then as you come back, when you come back out from here, you stop and allow the last shell to be unworked. So that's how it has this kind of step down feature because you've left that last shell unworked. So on this one, on the next next rows, you're going to turn around right here so that these four stay unworked. So I thought that was super pretty. I really like the way it was coming out. It's very loose and lacy and um, I think it's really pretty. So I'm going to just still determine whether or not I want to leave it like for a smaller child size. Or is it going to get bigger? Is this a grown-up size? I don't know how to wear these. That's so funny. I keep saying that. You know, maybe it is just like that. Maybe that's a good size. And then you might just clip it here or do something. I don't know. I don't know. But I thought that was really pretty. I like that, that step-up kind of situation that's going on. So, yeah. If you haven't seen that video before, I'll, like I say, I... I always like to link what I've worked on down below so that you guys can see it and work on it as well if you'd like. Um, but that's what I've got worked up for this video it was my sugar wheel cotton and sort of my continuation of the sawtooth as well. So hope you enjoyed the video today. Have a wonderfully blessed day and I hope you'll come back and see me again. Thank you. Bye bye.